and it's just basketball. At the end of the day, it's just basketball. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe on the way in the door, my people. I hope you all are having a truly, truly fantastic day today. Uh, so no doubt uh, you've seen other content creators talking about this this week about um, Rich Paul uh, putting a stop to trade talks uh, between the Lakers and the Golden State Warriors, you know, trying to send LeBron James on yet another super team mission. Uh, but it was stopped by Rich Paul. Uh, shout out to Rich Paul, who gave us the term the deer for LeBron James. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get into this article. This article is coming from Sports Illustrated. And it says, uh, Rich Paul halted talk of Lakers trading LeBron James to Warriors per report. Bearing unforeseen circumstances, it appears for LeBron James will begin the 2025 season as a member of the Los Angeles Lakers. According to a Sunday report from veteran basketball insider Mark Stein, James may have agent Rich Paul to thank for that. Per Stein, it was Paul who put the kibosh on the tentative trade discussions between the Lakers and Golden State Warriors surrounding James last season. It is believed that the Lakers would have reluctantly entertained trade conversations with the Warriors before last February's trade deadline if James wanted them to seriously engage Golden State on a potential deal. Yet, league sources say that the reported talks between the team at the time never got that far in large part because James' agent, Rich Paul, was adamantly Opposed to the ideal of LeBron James swapping Southern California for Northern California, Stein wrote. James moving north would have been seismic. One of the most celebrated athletes of the 21st century joining the rival with whom he's most closely associated. Paul Perstein, cons Perstein considered how that would look and didn't like what he saw. Sources say Rich Paul implored both teams to scrap the concept, largely because he wanted to insulate James from potential backlash over switching teams for the fourth time in his career, Stein wrote. Friendship? Sharp business sense? Both? Or neither? <laughs> you be the judge. <laughs> Okay, at this point, well, what are we going to say, people? At, at this point, what are we going to... Hey, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, I say let them do it. <laughs> I say go ahead and let LeBron James go to the Warriors. Uh, you know, Rich Paul is talking about, you know, trying to insulate him from potential backlash over switching teams for the fourth time in his career. Uh, Rich Paul, too late. The damage is done. And, and let me say this. I believe at this point, at this point, at this point in LeBron James' career, there are pretty much two sides of the coin regarding LeBron James. And those are people like myself who believe that, hey, LeBron James took shortcuts and there is nothing redeemable about his career. And those, and there are the people who don't see that he took shortcuts. They, they see it as player empowerment. They see it as, hey, I don't understand why if a player does it, why it's such a big deal. Um, so it's two, kind, two uh, different people for the most part. Now, of course, you got some people who are going to be in between. But for the most part, I do believe that as it pertains to LeBron James and and how people view uh, his his uh, manufactured legacy. Uh, so, so if you're part of the camp who thinks that LeBron James can do no wrong, who thinks that, hey, this guy's just exercising player empowerment and, and player entitlement <laughs> and all that, then his move to the Golden State Warriors, I don't think 
would have been a big deal because these same people who make excuses for him in every other way would be making excuses for him uh, on the Golden State Warriors. And my goodness, if they didn't win a championship, oh, best believe the excuses are going to roll out. They're going to be saying, hey, Steph Curry is old. <laughs> uh, LeBron James is going to get on his Just a Game podcast and say, yeah, you know, uh, it was me and Steph Curry, but, you know, the rest of them were minimum guys. You know, so, so if you're one of those people who are on the side of ig ignoring the shortcuts that LeBron James take, but even more importantly, are willfully blind to the fact that he actually took shortcuts, I don't believe that LeBron James going to the Golden State Warriors would have affected those people. And, uh, and if you're a person like me who feels like, hey, LeBron James, your, your whole legacy is manufactured and you haven't really earned anything that you've gotten you know, you're a stat patter, uh, you're an excuse maker, you're a low manager, uh, you're an injury faker. <laughs> Where's that foot surgery? <laughs> you know, if you're one of the people who believe like me, like, hey, you, you took shortcuts so I can never, ever give you the same credit for someone who didn't. Then him move going to the Golden State Warriors, uh, you might as well. <laughs> You might as well. The only thing it'll be for me is more content to talk about how ridiculous you are. But since your legacy legacy is already ridiculous to me, uh, I'm not sure how much more that move, <laughs> how much worse that move would be. Because, I mean, to me, at this point, it'd just be par for the course. If LeBron James, at any point during the last couple of years of his career, whatever, how many he has left, decides to go join another super team, would that really be surprising to anyone? It's just par for the course for LeBron James. Now, I will say this, and we really are gonna keep this video short. I just want to uh, throw my two cents in about this, but I, I will say this. The fact that Rich Paul uh, actually thought about that, to me, that says a lot, because to me, what that says is, uh, these people in the mainstream media They do hear what we're talking about <laughs> They do hear what we're talking about And obviously It is starting to have some sort of effect Obviously at this point In LeBron James career here, here, th th This is what I think I think at this point in LeBron James career he knows that he cannot win over the majority of the fans. And I honestly think it bothers him heavily. I think it bothers him heavily. Uh, <laughs> and uh, because otherwise, I will say this. If LeBron James really wanted to go to the Warriors, who cares what Rich Paul thought about it? Who, who cares what other people think about it? Who, who cares if everyone's going to be like, Oh, well, now, now you're joining Steph Curry. Who cares if that's what he really wanted? But I think the fact that uh, if this move was actually halted by Rich Paul being able to pull LeBron aside and say, hey, look, man, it, this is going to be this is going to be a hit on your legacy. Like this is going to be a big hit on your leg legacy. You know, pe people out there are already talking about uh, how you took shortcuts uh, and they're calling you the deer. And, you know, people talking about uh, the four and six kingdom and, and stuff. <laughs> this is going to be a really bad look for you. For, for Rich Paul to be able to approach him and actually halt, uh, you know, stop the negotiations. To me, that, that says a lot. That says that channels like this uh, make a difference, you know, uh, from the smaller channels like this to the bigger channels like this. You know, from me, uh, Sports and Fitness Rants, uh, Angry Old Hoops, MJ Fans Are The Best, uh, Phenomenal Fitness, Retro Heat Check, uh, to people like Dreamers Pro and Ticket TV, you know, Too Raw For Sports, uh, Brandon Love Sports. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think these channels... Like you uh, can't be ignored and they do 
affect some things. Now, unfortunately, I don't think it's ever going to affect Commissioner Voldemort enough to start making some meaningful changes to the NBA. But it's obvious that uh, what people think and the fact that a lot of people have a problem with the way that LeBron James has went about his career, it's, it's starting to make its way out there. It, it's getting out there. And not only is it getting out there, but we are actually seeing more and more people who are uh, don't feel the need to hold their tongue when it comes to LeBron James, like Stephon Marbury, like Rashad McCants, who is constantly uh, voicing his opinion about LeBron James, you know, who on Gills Arena, you know, have said a few times about LeBron James having paid media people out there to, to, to try to convince people he's the GOAT. So it is getting out there. But anyway, we're going to hold up here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you think about this whole thing? that Rich Paul put a halt to trade talks between the Lakers and the Warriors because he was concerned about the Deer's image. He was really concerned about that, people. You know, he, he said, hey, LeBron James, uh, you know, <laughs> you've been on three super teams, but four is just too many. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. You all have a truly, truly, truly fantastic day. And I'll see you next time. All right.